From 2011 through 2015, the National Park Service will commemorate the 150th anniversary of the Civil War with a wide variety of programs and activities. Battlefield tours, symposia, junior ranger programs, community conversations, and new exhibits at parks and battlefields across the country, just to name a few. These exciting activities offer a wealth of opportunity to learn more about the events that shaped our nation's history and still reverberate today, a century and a half later. One type of program you won't see in a national park, however, is the battle reenactment. Although the National Park Service offers over 12,000 historic weapons firing demonstrations each year, battle reenactments, during which participants fire at one another, engage in simulated hand-to-hand -hand combat, or feign casualties or death, are prohibited by National Park Service policy. This policy is deeply rooted in a three-part commitment to visitor and demonstrator safety, resource protection, and respect for those who fought and died on our nation's battlefields. First of all, black powder is an inherently dangerous substance, allowing hundreds and sometimes even thousands of reenactors to run with loaded weapons or to fire at each other in close proximity to the public creates an unacceptably high level of risk. Injuries from exploding cannon, weapon misfires, the shooting of unauthorized bullets and projectiles, overloaded weapons, and children picking up loose powder have all been documented at battle reenactments outside the parks. The National Park Service does conduct historic weapons firing demonstrations, but only under very strictly controlled circumstances. And we're proud that in the half century since we've instituted these rigorous guidelines for black powder demonstrations, there has never been a serious accident or injury to either demonstrators or visitors. In addition to posing serious safety risks, reenactments also endanger the battlefields themselves, the very resource the parks were established to protect uncontrolled movement of large numbers of individuals on an original battlefield, often accompanied by horses, heavy equipment, campfires, and other accoutrements, can unintentionally cause significant damage to irreplaceable historic landscapes. Although the National Park Service strives to provide vivid interpretive experience, it must never be done with the experience of the historic resources that the agency has been entrusted to preserve. Even more than safety and resource protection concerns, though, the National Park Service prohibition on battle reenactments is based on an ethical position that it is fundamentally disrespectful to those who actually fought and died on a particular piece of ground to pretend to be able to accurately portray their deaths, sacrifices, and suffering. Even the best researched representations of combat cannot replicate the tragic horror, complexity, or scale of real warfare. Indeed, some battlefields may actually be undesignated cemeteries, as they may still contain the unrecovered remains of some of those whose lives were there lost. Although National Park Service policy prohibits battle reenactments out of respect and sensitivity for the very real suffering and death that occurred on these battlefields, it also recognizes and supports the very positive contributions that living history programs can make toward understanding our past dynamic impressions they convey can have a powerful impact on visitors' emotions and reflections and open unexpectedly revealing windows into the past. For this reason, the National Park Service regularly joins with volunteer living historians across the country to present weapons firing demonstrations, living history in cameras, personal narratives, and other compelling programs which allow visitors to experience their own uniquely stirring and personal journeys into the chronicle of our nation. So join us during the Civil War 150th anniversary commemoration to experience some of these exciting programs for yourself and help us properly honor and remember the men and women who fought and died to create the nation whose legacy we continue to remember in our national parks.